Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on the Sony Cybershot RX10 Mark IV. Now, this is one of the most expensive bridge-style point-and-shoot cameras on the market, an all-in-one solution that if you've followed my reviews in the past and my coverage of this camera, you already know that I think it's the best of its kind. It truly is one of those devices where if it fits your needs, and it fits most people's needs outside of maybe form factor, if you don't want to carry something this large, this camera can do everything, whether we're talking about wide shots, telephoto because of its 600 millimeter reach, video because of, of course, its great 4K performance, and it really has just about everything you could want in terms of I.O. Uh, from a camera of its kind. And now it got a little bit better today because Sony announced a brand new firmware update that adds Inversion 2.0, which I'm going to include a link in the description, uh, autofocus, the eye autofocus for animals. Uh, so this is not maybe something that sounds groundbreaking, but it's showing that Sony is continuing to support the RX10 Mark IV. And this has been on the market for a while now. This also tells me Sony is likely not bringing out an update in the immediate future, which is unfortunate because I was really hoping we would see a new RX10 uh, sooner rather than later, but I feel like this firmware update, and I could be wrong, but they could still be introducing the Mark V. Uh, I don't have any information clearly, but this feels like an indication that the Mark V is uh, a little bit farther away than I initially thought. So, uh, as I mentioned, we're getting that eye autofocus for animals. Now, it won't be able to do eye autofocus for human animals as well as regular the other type of animals that they're including here. At the same time, Sony does point that out. Uh, they didn't do a formal press release, but I did receive, uh, you know, an email with this information from their uh, marketing team. Uh, also, it's improving the overall uh, stab uh, stability of the camera. And basically, this is just going to enable the possibility to actuate, to use the real-time eye autofocus with a simple half-press of the shutter button right there. So that's pretty much it. I mean, the only uh, catch, as I already mentioned, is that uh, depending, they say, on the environment or the animal type or the movement of the animal, uh, it may or may not uh, actually be able to detect the eye. And as stated, uh, the other thing is the more principal one, which is that if a human and an animal are in the same shot, it won't necessarily, it's not going to lock onto both. So you're still gonna have to pick your subject is the way I'm uh, reading this. Uh, and of course, I'm going to update my camera, get out there and see uh, how the performance works. I don't really have to go very far because those of you, again, that follow the channel know I've got Rue, uh, my cat, and then now we've added a puppy to the family. So uh, I'll be testing this out in the immediate, even though I'm still reviewing the A6600 fantastic camera. This is a tried and true uh, winner that really nothing else can stand up to. So I wish there were more options, but there aren't. And again, I'm glad to see Sony is continuing to update what is already a great camera. They're showing that they are not leaving consumers behind on a release like this, because this is, not you know, a not fairly expensive. It's an expensive piece of hardware, considering it's got a one inch sensor uh, and a 600 millimeter lens. It's as premium as Bridge gets, uh, even still here at the end of 2019. And now with the firmware update, Sony just reminding us that uh, this camera can still be made better. I would have liked to have seen them also roll out uh, a time lapse. You know, some of the other features that they're building into new cameras, hopefully the reason they didn't roll that out is because a Mark V is sooner uh, than I think. But again, the fact that we're getting the uh, animal eye autofocus detect makes me feel a lot like the Mark V is coming, but it's not coming as soon again as I would hope. And that camera will probably sport all of the niceties of their current lineup of cameras, uh, like the A6400, 6600, A7R4, A9 Mark II, where we're getting eye uh, autofocus detect, of course, like we have now here, but then also the benefits of having real-time uh, autofocus tracking, probably no more li limitation on video recording, you get where I'm going. So it just takes a camera that got a little bit better today and will push it to another level with that improved autofocus system and real-time tracking. It may not sound like a lot, but considering this is the best out there, you're just going to have a camera that is actually better than this, which is enough to call it an upgrade. And who knows, maybe we'll get a UHS-2 slot on there since the body is certainly large enough and they already implement 
the side slot for the SD card, which I happen to prefer greatly over the one built into the battery bay. Not a fan of that. But that's it. Good firmware update. Sony somewhat staying on their toes and making sure that they don't leave people like me and any of you that have purchased this camera wondering why support has walked away. Even though this isn't a real big bone, it shows that they have not decided to put us literally into the doghouse. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.